In version 28 of Libre, we have the ability to mirror an entire part. And that's when I received a suggestion to go through a worked example of what that multi-body modeling would look like. I think that's a great idea, so let's get into it. We can make a multi-body model of two halves of this shell and why we might want to approach it like this instead of some of the more traditional ways of modeling two halves. I'm going to jump to the assembly environment for a moment and show a few ways that this can be done. One way to mirror an entire part is, of course, going through an assembly. And for that, right, I simply set this down somewhere relative to a plane. And in assembly, I can choose mirror. And I can choose my mirror plane. And then I can choose my part. And when I click OK, I have this part that now lives inside of the assembly. And I can access this new part by right clicking and saying, you know, edit here or edit in separate window. And I can start working that way. But perhaps these come as a set and you want to keep the same part number for both halves. Perhaps you want to have a single file. So when you search for that part number for these halves, you can achieve finding the whole part all in once. You don't have to open up assemblies and chase down another half. Perhaps you want to quickly and easily reference mating features between the two halves without having to right click and edit here. Or perhaps you're used to working in multi-body workflows from another platform. Any of those reasons I think are great reasons to see if the workflow enabled in version 28 is a great fit for your needs. So instead of doing this by an assembly, let's check out doing this by a multi-body workflow. So now I'm back in the part environment and let's talk about multi-body modeling as an alternative. Uh, so one thing I can do is create the mirror plane, right? I'll select my mating face here, click on plane. We'll give this a distance of one inch and I'll click on reverse just to make sure I'm going in the right direction. Looks good. I'll mirror the entire part across the plane that I've just created and I'll go on to mirror. We'll change this to entire part and I'll click on my mirror plane. There I can see the preview for mirroring the entire part. And you'll notice I have a red warning here and that's because of these holes. I used the hole tool to create these holes and what this warning is telling me is that as I mirror this part, the whole data is not copied across to the mirror part, only the whole geometry. This is not a big deal for me because I am going to get rid of these holes anyways and make a different hole that can accept the screw that I'd put in. But if this does affect you, be sure to create a workflow where you can create your holes after the mirror. So I'll say OK to that. And now I can make each side a little unique so that they'll be able to mate properly. One thing that I want to do is, of course, get rid of my hole geometry that I no longer need. Uh, I think a great way to do that is to remove face. So I can start clicking on the faces that I would like to remove, including this little fillet right here, and now the hole is gone. I can do the same thing from this side. And just like that, we were able to get rid of our faces that are not necessary. From here, a lot of these plastic parts have a reveal or, you know, a raised lip and groove around the outside. So when you put the pieces together, they align properly, right? I want to, of course, edit one body with a boss and then put a groove on another body so that they'll be able to complement each other nicely. I'll activate a sketch on my first body here. I'll project Let's say this entire face to the sketch with maintained association. I'll select this chain here, and I'll just make sure that this entire uh, selection is converted to reference, right? And we want to make, let's say, a cut groove uh, around here. So we'll choose an offset pattern here. And let's see what 0 0.0625 looks like. That's pretty good, but I'll be sure to chain select so I get the entire profile here. I'll say OK to that. Now again, it depends on your workflow if you want to constrain this or not. Some people approach offsets as 
anytime they make a change to their original sketch, they'll just delete the red stuff and then re-offset it. Or if you'd like, you can make constraints to fully define your sketch. It depends on how your workflow works. But speaking of which, just to avoid any zero thickness or anything like that when I make this cut, because this is a drafted part, I'll actually chain select this. We'll do an offset on the other side as well. And then chain select this once more. And make sure that we are on reference. So I'll make my groove now. And again, we'll go to a depth to keep it simple of negative 0.0625. We also can draft this if we would like. Perhaps I would choose a draft angle of three degrees since it's a plastic part. That can be pretty important. Now you can see we're able to toggle our preview. I of course want an outward draft so that when it comes out of the tool, whoop, I guess I want an inward draft just like that. So when it comes out of the tool, it won't stick in the mold. We'll say okay to that. Remembering that we have a three degree draft applied. Now I'd sure like to reference the geometry that I just made to easily and confidently ensure that I can make a raised boss and not have an interference between the two. Because of this multi-body environment, we do not have to worry about using global parameters between two different files because we have both bodies right here in a Libre. It makes things uh, wonderfully easy. So I'll select this face and we'll work on the boss side of the reveal. I'll project a sketch and I can directly reference the geometry that I've created here. We'll import a reference figure with maintained association. And you'll see that now I can see exactly where that face is. I can again chain select this entire profile. We'll choose an offset and maybe I want to have a 10 thou difference, 0.01. And I can make sure that that looks right, looks like it does. I can also project this entire face with maintained association as a reference figure, chain select, and convert to regular figures. From here, all I have to do is extrude my raised lip. So we'll extrude. I can go to my straight on view and make sure that I've got my three degree draft angle. And just like that, we know that we won't interfere because it is drafting up this way. We're at the depth that we want, so we're gonna say okay. And there we have two complementary reveal features right here in the same file. So when we're trying to get, say, holes aligned, or these complicated profiles to easily and quickly mate together, we can do so in a Libre with this new workflow that has been enabled by version 28 mirror whole part. Hopefully this quick example helps to open up all of the possibilities available to you through multi-body modeling. Thank you so much for watching.